hello guys welcome once again today I'm going to show you how to insert data from your JFrame into your database or from Java to your database so we have already made these text field with respective names for example if you write employee ID name surname and age and if you wish to save this data into the database by clicking this button today we are going to learn that so we have already made our save button in our previous tutorial I just want to change its variable name cmd save it's good practice to name your j components and just right click event and ex action verb formed we we'll go to the source bl block i have already made try catch block in order to save time so just write try and catch block and in try block write string sql as we always write and in this we have to write a query so query for saving or inserting data into database is insert into whatever is your table name our table name is employee info employee info and now we have to write which component you want to fill the data in which column you want to fill the data so for example in our table I want to add employee ID name surname and age so I will write here name the name and age I hope I spell all the things correct and then write value and bracket you have to make for four values you have to insert four question marks three and four so this is the query you have to write in order to insert your data and then write PST is equal to con dot prepare statement as always we write and PST dot execute query and write execute these two codes you have to write and between these two you have to put 
pst dot set string into first place you want to add data because first place is our employee ID so you have to just copy the variable name text employee ID employee ID text fields variable name and just paste dot get text and in the same way all four columns we have to write the same for second or third or fourth the name text field variable name is text name so copy and paste it here then surname variable name is text surname copy paste it here one last time variable name is age copy paste it here this is the simple code to save your program into database and let's check the program now one last thing I forgot to write here I think is when your data is saved you want to show some message so write here actually copy this thing which is already written in catch block and paste it here and instead of E you must write your string I will I will write it here saved so we know that our data is saved now let's try to run the program employee ID for example we have already two then we add third employee his name is Sam for example Sam don't know Pam surname and age is 23 and press save I think I have some error near syntax let's check so I think I have made mistake here instead of value I have I should have written values so add one extra s in value so it will be values and then let's try to run the program once again 3 sam and surname 23 is the age and let's this data save and it shows that data is already saved but you can see in the database here yeah, you have to ref refresh this thing in order to see your data so you have all saved 3 sam pam and 23 it, it already goes into the database once again let's try some other numbers 4 lucky 
cat 24 and save that is saved press ok and refresh table so our data is saved one more problem here is when we save our data it doesn't instantly shows shown into your table for that you can simply take your update table method and just paste below your code here so once again right click save action perform here and below try, try catch block just paste the method update table so now if you save data ram nam 23 for example and if you press save the table automatically refreshes itself because we have added updated met update method into our save action perform method so that was the small tutorial for saving or inserting data into your database i hope you have enjoyed and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now